Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the cool codes that I use to customize the text types for my on-page image blocks. Now to be super duper clear, we are not talking about gallery images. We're talking about image blocks that are on a single page in your Squarespace website. These image blocks have six different types. We have inline, poster, card, stack, collage, and overlap. And an inline has captions while the other five have titles, subtitles, and an optional button. So each one of those image types can be edited on its own using custom CSS. And that's exactly what I'm going to walk you through today. I do want to mention really quickly, I am using my Squarespace 7 demo site here. Squarespace 7.1 has a few more options for these image blocks. So if you're using 7.1, keep an eye out for that tutorial instead. I'll have a link for it beneath this video, okay? All right, let's hop into my demo site and get started here. So here you can see in my demo site, I have a page that has all of the image types, inline, poster, stack, card, overlap, collage. I'm going to show you really quickly how we're adding these images here so you understand exactly what we're editing. I'm going to select edit for my on page content and I'll just click that little droplet and add an image. Now here under the design tab, we can specify which type of image we'd like to add any of these options here. Okay, cool. I'm going to hit cancel and delete that since we have them all on the page and let's head over to our custom CSS to get started. We'll select design and then custom CSS. And this is where we'll be pasting the code. Now, right off of the bat, you'll notice that we have captions for inline, but these other five have those title, subtitle and button options. Like I mentioned, if you want to change all of the image titles, uh, let's say we just want to update the color. We can add the text image dash title P for paragraph text. And then let's just make the color red. You'll notice nothing's happening. If we add exclamation point important, that will tell the browser to prioritize our code over the regular CSS site styles file that's in there. So for all of these image types, we're going to add important. Okay. But you'll notice every single image title on this page has now updated to a bright red that works for subtitle as well. If we just change that word title to image dash subtitle paragraph text, all of those are also going to update. Now we can also change this to button, but you'll notice again, nothing's happening. That's because your button is not paragraph text. It's an active link. So we're going to change that P to an A. And now you'll see all of these buttons have the text updated right there. We can also use this button code to change things like the background color. For example, if you want the background of your button to be, let's make it blue and then exclamation point important on there. And now all of the image buttons are blue. Man, that's rough to read. Let's go ahead and change this red to a solid white so we can see white on top of the blue. There we go. So now all of the buttons have that background. So as I've mentioned, we can do this to all of the different image types at once, or we can specify by image type. Let's say we want this white text on a blue button, but only for the poster image. How do we do that? We add the text design layout poster. Did I spell that right? I didn't. There we go. Poster. And now you'll see just the poster image has been updated. How cool is that? We can change that to collage or card if we'd like. Let me show you the card example here. I just say design layout card. And now whatever code I have here is only going to apply to that image type. So let's recap really quickly, shall we? You can specify the type of image you'd like, be it poster, card, stack, collage, overlap by adding the text design layout and then the name of the type of image that you'd like to specify for. And you can change the button by saying image button A, or you can change the text by saying image title P or image subtitle P and then add all of the different changes that you'd like to make. So you'll see here, we left the background color for that button and now our subtitle text is getting that background color of blue. So definitely a great example of all the different options you have there. You can change the text color, the font size, the font family, background color, all of that magic. But regardless of what you do, when you're done, make sure you select save and it'll apply to your website. 
So I have a list of all of these different image types available for you. Details on that are in the description, how to get your hands on that list, but it's pretty easy to remember. Image dash title, P, will change the title text. Image dash subtitle, P, will change the subtitle text. And image dash button, A, will change that active link button on any of the images in your Squarespace website. Alrighty, that's it for this quick tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned something awesome. And if you'd like to learn more about custom CSS for Squarespace, be sure to subscribe. I post a new tutorial every single Tuesday. Thanks again for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website.